Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the GDB set command for ESP32 JTAG debug. The set command has lots of function. We have used it in previous video to set the address color. Here, we will focus one important function uh, is to set variable value. For the variable, we have two types of variable. One is code variable. Another one is environment variable. So what's the code variable and what's the environment variable? Uh, let's take a look how we uh, do it. Uh, okay. So here, uh, we still use the code from previous lessons. Uh, I already downloaded the code uh, inside my ESP board. Uh, we open another, uh, we open one command line interface to run the open OCD. Here, we run the open OCD. And we need to open another command interface to run the uh, GDB. The GDB, we need to go into our source code folder, CT micro folder, link, and we uh, run our GDB command here. Okay, it's reading, it's reading the fresh. Okay, it's here. Reading the fresh information. Okay, it already stopped at the app main function position. Uh, here we First, we we check a uh, we check the variable here. This is the i, so we can use the print to check the variable. It equal to zero, initialize as zero, and we can use uh, uh, pr print to set it as we talked it before. Okay, make it like uh, two, and the print i. And when we use the set command to set it, how we do it? We use the set variable i equal to phi, okay? And then we print the i out. So it equal to phi. Why we need to do these things, okay? Why we need to set the variable i inside the code? The i is inside code, is a code variable. Why we need to do it? We can uh, change the code working flow by setting the variable value, okay? So for example here, uh, for example here, when the i equal to phi, it will go through this value. We can change the i value, uh, make it go through another flow, make it uh, go through another flow, for example, this flow or this flow. So here we can set the value i equal to 50. When the i equal to 50, it will go through here. The k equal to, uh, the k value will be set like 20. Okay, enter. Okay. So uh, we can verify it, whether it will go through this or not. Uh, so we can set the breakpoint at this position. Uh, we can set the breakpoint at this position, 86. And we set another breakpoint at this position, 93. Okay. So we run it, run the call. Okay, it is stop as 86. It stop at this breakpoint first. 
and we checked uh, we checked i value again so is 60 uh, is 60 uh, why it is 60 because uh, here it increased by one it increased by one uh, it increased by one at this moment we can set it uh, uh, back again i equal to 50 okay we check it again uh, i equal to 50 so uh, we continue to run to the second breakpoint here and then we will be able to check the k value continue okay stop at this position stop at this position uh, you even can see the input value already change uh, the the function input value uh, here this is 60 this is the old value after we set the value i equal to 50 and this input value is already to change to 50 and the k value should be 20 we print out the k value print out the k value okay the k value is 20 already so by setting the variable inside the call we can change the call working flow okay we can change the call working flow so this is the first the first function about the set the call variable so what's the environment variable how we set it the value okay so let's take a look at the Another example. Here, we use the set command to set one variable, which is environment variable. Let's say m. The so m is not inside the call. Make it equal to zero, and press enter, and we type while while language while the variable value less than three uh, when it less than three and we bring out the a data array uh, according the variable m value according to variable m value and then we increase the m variable value by setting command by setting command the setting command uh, can directly set the value also can increase the value of the variable okay and then we press enter uh, press input end and press enter so it will directly output a array value okay four five six the a value is here four five six so why we need to create a we why we need to create the environment variable and set the value it's for the gdb script okay the gdb script can group lots of command together and run for one times and it is a very very powerful function it can it can do the uh, automatically debug automatically test so it's very powerful okay so uh, this is this two function two set variable value function one is a code variable another one is environment variable okay so this is this video i'm michael see you next time